What's up, guys? You're here with Gordon for Pig Dogs. And thank you for joining me here for your free picks for the UEFA Conference League on Thursday, February 15th. Well, guys, another competition is kicking off their knockouts. And this is the UEFA Europa Conference League. It's the full name of this competition. Uh, it's the round of 16th. Uh, the, the, the 16th, we have eight games on the schedule, four games at 12.45 p.m. Eastern Time, four games at 3 p.m. Eastern Time. And alongside this, we have the Europa League knockouts as well, which you can find in the separate video up on the Pink Dogs YouTube channel. So go check it out, guys. Make sure you subscribe. Feel free to leave a comment. And of course, hit that like button. For my best bets, as usual, simply click the link in the description of this video. That will get you up to my page where you can sign up, get a daily pass, three-day pass, seven-day pass, or even a month-long pass if that's something you want to do. Uh, like I said, guys, eight games on the schedule. And without further ado, uh, let's get let, let's kick it off with this matchup between Molde and Legia Warsaw. Uh, the team from Norway and the team from Poland uh, should be a good game, in my opinion. The only problem that Molde has right now is the fact that they haven't played a competitive game in a while. Uh, they had those uh, friendly games and uh, the Atlantic Cup games, which is actually a decent competition with uh, those uh, Scandinavian teams. Uh, and so they have been scoring some goals, they have been conceding some goals, while uh, Legia Warsaw, on the other hand, is on the three-game winning streak, uh, undefeated in their last five games, and they have also been scoring and, consisting, and, and conceding goals quite consistently. Uh, I think this might be a bit of a choppy game. It's quite cold up north. Uh, I think that uh, both teams will be focused a little bit more on defense rather than the offense. Uh, Molde will definitely try to go for the win here since they are the home team, but it's not going to be an easy task to accomplish because Legia Warsaw is in a solid form, uh, and uh, I think that uh, they don't shy away from becoming a little bit rough on the pitch when uh, when it's kind of necessary. So. Uh, with that in mind, guys, and because of the fact that uh, I do expect a bit of a choppy game, I'm going to take Legia over two and a half cards at minus 105. For our next matchup, guys, we're going to go to Greece, and we have Olympiakos hosting the Hungarian champion Ferenc Varos. Uh, and I think this is going to be a great game. Ferenc Varos is on, is, is on a three-game winning streak right now. Whether they play at home or on the road, they are scoring goals. And they are conceding goals as well. Their last four games have gone over four and a half, actually over three and a half. Uh, one of those has gone over uh, five and a half. Uh, but uh, they have scored uh, 10 goals in their last three games. They haven't kept a clean sheet in a couple of weeks. And uh, that is going to be a very good opportunity for, Olymp for uh, Olympiakos, who is one of the best teams in Greece, uh, to get to the scoreboard and get a favorable result for them. Uh, I'm going to go with goals in this one, guys. Over 2.5 at plus 100. It, it looks like neither team can keep a clean sheet right now. And with that in mind, I'm going to go with the over 2.5. Both teams to score at over 2.5. In my opinion, it seems quite likely. If we get over 2.5, I think we're going to get both teams to score as well. But I'm just taking the volatility out of the, this pick as much as I can. And uh, I'm going to stick to the over 2.5 at plus 100. In Belgium, uh, Union saint Gilloa is hosting Eintracht, and uh, I think that uh, Eintracht is definitely a big of an, uh, well, maybe too big of an underdog in my opinion. I think that they're a solid team despite the kind of a bad results as of late. They haven't beaten anyone in their last two games. They have scored only one goal in those two games, and their offense has been the problem. But uh, St. Gilles, as good as they are in that attack again when playing in, in, in the Belgian Pro League, uh, defensively, they tend to make mistakes, and they have been conceding goals quite consistently, even though they haven't lost any of their last 14 home games. So uh, in this one, guys, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go with both teams to score at minus 133. And the last game in the Conference League at 12.45 p.m. Eastern Time is going to be between Sturm Graz and Slovan Bratislava. Uh, both teams are playing pretty well right now. Uh, Slovan hasn't lost any of their last five games. Sturm hasn't lost any of their last four games. Uh, and uh, Slovan also hasn't lost any of their last nine games on the road. And that is going to be significant in this match because Sturm, as solid as they are in the Austrian uh, Bundesliga, and uh, they actually went toe-to-toe -to -toe with uh, 
uh, with Red Bull Salzburg this past weekend by getting a 1-1 draw on, on, on the road. Uh, as we can see, they are conceding goals quite consistently. And Slova Bratislava has played uh, 1, 2, 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 of their last games have gone over 2.5. And eight of those games have got both teams to score in over two and a half. So as we can see, there's a lot of goals that uh, in the games that these two teams are playing. And uh, I kind of expect similar here as well. So I'm going to go with both teams to score at minus 143. I don't think that either side can keep a clean sheet. I'm hoping we're going to see the over two and a half as well. But uh, at the moment, I'm perfectly happy with both teams scoring at minus 143. Ajax will be hosting Bodo Glimt, uh, who is a team from Norway, a very solid team that can score a lot of goals. And uh, once again, this is the team that hasn't played a lot of competitive games. They haven't played a competitive game since, uh, since mid-December. While Ajax on the other side, uh, they have been gaining some traction. They have been playing a lot better in that attack again. However, their defense is abysmal. They have conceded at least a goal in each of their last six games. Uh, they have conceded three against Hiredman uh, in the Eredivisie this past weekend, and they actually lost that game 3-2. Uh, but they haven't lost any of their last six home games, and that is going to be a chance for them. Now, can they keep a clean sheet here? I don't think so. Uh, Bodo Glimt hasn't been in the best form. They have two wins uh, of their last six games while losing the other four. Uh, they are conceding goals, but I think that they can get to the scoreboard in this one. So uh, over three goals at minus 133, that's the Asian line, the Asian total. This basically means if we see three goals, we are getting a push. If we see more than three goals, we are going to get a nice win. And honestly, I wouldn't be surprised to see four or five goals in this matchup. So should be a fun one. Maccabi Haifa is uh, the team from Israel and they are playing against Ghent. Uh, this game is being played at a neutral venue. Uh, let me just check it out real quick where it's it's actually being played. I know I uh, I think it's being played in Hungary to be honest. Uh, it's being played, yes, in Budapest in Hungary. Uh, that means that uh, no home field advantage for Maccabi Haifa, but their form has been actually quite solid. They have scored uh, four goals in their last two games. They have won those two games, uh, kept two clean sheets. Uh, they have won four of their last six overall. And uh, when it comes to scoring goals, they are doing it quite. Uh, they are doing it quite consistently. And now they are catching this Ghent team uh, on a huge losing streak, and uh, they haven't won any of their last six games. So. I know that Maccabi Haifa is a decent team and they could potentially snag a win here uh, at plus 165. So I think that maybe half a unit or maybe a little bit less than that. It's definitely worth a shot uh, because Ghent looks quite bad right now. Uh, but uh, I think that uh, with this being the conference league, I think they might try to step it up. Whether they get a positive result, I don't know. But I think that they will get on the scoreboard. So I'm going to go with both teams to score at minus 154. Uh, in another matchup, we have Real Betis hosting Dinamo Zagreb, uh, the the Croatian champion who, I gotta be honest, does not look all too well under the current head coach, uh, at least defensively. They are quite sloppy, and uh, even though Betis is missing like a ton of players for this game, uh, I think that Betis definitely deserves to be the favorites that they are. Uh, the team from La Liga and the team from the Croatian uh, First League are really not in the same rank and uh, I know that Dinamo Zagreb is kind of used to playing in Europe they definitely try to step it up they have a good team in my opinion I think that they have a decent amount of quality uh, at the moment they are not at the top spot in the Croatian uh, National League but uh, they could still get there I'm just not sure they have uh, the mental strength to do it. Like I said, I don't think they look all that well under the current head coach. Something will have to change. And honestly, I think that they will be put uh, through a ringer here against Betis, who, despite missing a bunch of players, is still in a good form, uh, undefeated in their last three games. They will be creating a lot of chances in this game. And uh, if Dinamo Zagreb will get a positive outcome out of this game it will be by using those counter attacks and trying to get to the scoreboard but i think that the betis will be the dominant team here and with that in mind i'm gonna take betis to have over four, five and a half shots on target at minus 102. and the last game of the day guys is between uh swiss team servete and ludogorets rasgard uh from uh bulgaria 
Uh, the team that's actually in a pretty good form, only one loss in their last six games. Uh, they have scored five goals, actually eight goals in their last three games. Uh, but they are conceding a lot of goals. And uh, Cervete, when playing at home, is actually undefeated in quite a while. And uh, they are quite dangerous when playing at home. I think that uh, Cervete is maybe a little bit better than Lulogorets, but they are not too far apart. I gotta be honest. And uh, in that game against Iverdon uh, this past weekend in the Swiss Super League, uh, Cervete was resting a few players uh, and that should give them a decent advantage here. Uh, and that alongside the home field advantage with a bunch of fans on their side, I think that Cervete might get this one. So uh, keep it simple, guys. I'm taking Cervete on the money line at plus 143. That's it, everyone. Thank you for joining me here once again. Uh, like I said in the other video, I haven't put together any parlays yet, but I probably will, and I will put it in the comments of this video. So check it out, guys. Uh, stay tuned for more free picks, and of course, have a great day.